and social capital. Cultural and heritage can participate in building peace as it processes different approaches to, uh, to security and development policy and practices. Uh, there are many ways in which heritage can be useful in that process of peace building. As heritage and culture can give up to heritage and to archaeology, but then I go to a museum and I'm like, okay, when shall we go out? Like, I do it and I put the pictures, I document it, but I want to run away. And apparently, I just discovered that what's going on is that when you go to a museum, it might have a lot of valid, important information, but it doesn't give me this uh, actualization kind of. Huh? It doesn't tell me the story. It doesn't tell me why I exist, why I am the way I am now. And that's why I, I started the journey of discovering what shall I do uh, in order to make sense of that. So. The easiest path was to start, that's why I have so many masters. Still searching. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should go to the activist. Because of this use of, uh, because the tool of art is uh, such a strong tool uh, for social change or for transformation and to raise awareness to social issues. Uh, and uh, it's uh, the the case study of uh, Taina is, um, is showing that uh, in such a clear and beautiful way. Uh, so uh, Taina uh, is a Berlin-based artist, food activist, book author, and home cook, born in Brazil in 78, uh, works on different projects on how we consume food in a cultural... So who knows this word? Ah, good. It's good. I'm talking about something new for many of you, I'm happy. And um, so actually, has this big impact in our world and society, I thought it would be a good thing to use it uh, as, as a power tool for change. But um, actually, I, would, I wanted to... I had never heard of Turkish Goram. So now you see, is it the same recipe? It's oh, meat. Sure. I don't know. It's a meat, uh, meat, onions, tomatoes, and uh, and bread. Sorry. Yeah, and the food testing ceremony. If anybody would like uh, the camel's milk here, you can just give yourself a taste. Okay, of sure. So it's camel milk. Yes, I don't want to drop it. Yeah, sorry. Mm. It, uh, by the way, it tastes very similar to combo. It's very similar. It's not that exciting. You'll be like, oh, it tastes like combo. Okay. So, <laughs> you can serve. Uh, there you go. This is, this is ambient. This is ambient, one right here. This is ambient. As you can see, it's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> so, you can see it's kind of gluey. And how they, they eat it with chopsticks. We don't have chopsticks. But you can just take... Oh, wow. It got hard. You see, it's supposed to be served hot and it's, you know, it was snowing on the way here. It's not here. a problem. We so, have a hole in yeah. the wall okay. so we can block it. Yes, okay. <laughs> it was snowing on the way here. So I think it got cold and, I, and maybe it's too cold to... There we go. Oh my gosh. See, it's gotten cold. Anyway, how I will tell you how that you eat it. Normally, it's supposed to be gooey and you eat it... Oh wow, see, it's, it's kind of gooey. There we go. It tastes like rice. It's very flavorless, and what you do is you put it on your plate. I'll show you, like this. You just put it, wait, where's the plate? One second. Here we go. Oh, this looks good. Um, do you know what it looks inside? So you put it on your plate, and then you would put, for example, you eat it with some uh, pickles of some kind. It looks like this. Very, very simple. And you know what? I'll, I'll tell you a big secret, not a big secret. It, it, it tastes, this, this stuff itself tastes like very, like nothing. It tastes like rice. Um, and it takes on the flavor of whatever you put on top of it. So it's very, very simple. And I don't know what you want to Delicious. Oh, yes, it's simple, right? It's simple but delicious. Hello. Okay, I'm in the Arab house. I'm in the Arab house. I'm in the that will be funny in the video. Kelly. 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 Kelly.
ni paja. Egdom chisho cha. It's too cold. हमारो टीम साथ हो रही है अच्छा बस हम फो मिनट मात्र दिखाई रहे थे सॉरी टूरिस्ट यो डिप्लोमेटिक सेंटर्स यहाँ से सो एम एमबीसीज शायद नेपाली एमबीसी में यहाँ से बहुत सारे कदम हमें एंटर कर देते हैं और भाउस हमें और भाउस और भी एन एमबीसी نظمنا عدة فعاليات كثيرة في الماضي في إسبانيا وطبعا مرة يقول متى سنوات عديدة لكن دائما كنا على اتصال وإحنا نعتز بهاي النخبة من الفنانين الخليجيين معنا وإن شاء الله في المستقبل يكون دبلوماسية for government between governments between companies. And cultural diplomacy between nations and and people. This is great to be seen in our activities here in Germany, where I recently became an ambassador. Just I, I, I arrived here three months ago, so uh, I'm really sorry I cannot uh, explain everything in German. But next year, next meeting, <laughs> gathering, I I promise I will do my best. <laughs> So uh, we had a bilateral year of culture. Transgressing borders, like uh, political borders, like uh, ideological borders. So Germany is one of the countries which have had best experiences in doing unexpected things, unexpected decisions. If you consider the uh, reunion. Asking them the question where you are, where where you are located, uh, what you are doing, what's your email, so we can, at any opportunity, reach me. Uh, I can uh, kind of democratize that opportunity and send it to everyone, because I was kind of um, in Europe since long time and established in my career. So many people requested me to to send a picture or to request that, uh, to suggest Syrian artists. I ended up nominating all the time people I know. Oh, I know they were. Um, so I thought uh, to have this Google poll, then uh, the Google poll developed to actually a project proposal where I, I thought to make a mobile app first, um, where we kind of keep track of the Syrian artists where they are today. 
there was an open call for um, uh, ourselves to the German who is not knowing what's coming up. And this is part of another really horrible word that I really don't like to use too often, integration. But integration is not a one-way street. Integration is a two-way street. It's also from the Germans. The Germans have to learn. <laughs> Honestly, to be very frank, I'm not really the biggest fan of Turner. <laughs> so to say, I think the aerobic food is like much broader and, and it's such a stereotype. Um, I experience myself like new dishes that I've never heard before about. So. Um, go have your dinner, but please without me. <laughs> Important point you raise about the integration, two ways. I think this is very, very important. And um, well, I, I cannot tell you about my experience because I am not uh, living here as a refugee or as somebody who's looking for a job or to another life, but um, I really admire the German model of integration, which is something very fair and very positive from outside and living in different European countries. So I can tell that German model of integration is creating uh, an environment. I'm Qatar to, to open a um, branch of uh, Germany museum like uh, Louvre in Abu Dhabi or something like this because it, I believe it's very important to uh, like making bridge between this uh, I'm, I'm quite surprised at your question I thought um, this is enough to have one foreigner <laughs> intruding into the Gulf area and, and uh, creating this Louvre Abu Dhabi but obviously, the Louvre Abu Dhabi is very effective, um, even for the uh, regional population. They are according uh, to the photograph. Arab house ma chhau, ra Arabic food taste garna gaye rahe chhuami. Yeah, they are preparing Arabic food. <laughs> Yes. 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 Yes.